Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the YouTube stage identification of one of the best Massachusetts resident YouTubers. This, I'm here live in the basement. This is not MTV's remote control, and I'm not Ken Ober. God rest his soul. But my name is Eric Lima, and you're watching WEML TV Channel 77, episode 159. It's April the 17th, 2021, 10.01 a.m. That's right. Um, back here, my final Saturday for um, after this vacation, and I go back to work again. And I got one more vacation I have to deal with. I had I had to deal with these vacation hours and use them up quickly, and that's one of the, one of the reasons why I need to use them before I lose them. And so that way I can have more brand new hours starting uh, next uh, the next fiscal year. That would be starting May 1st. But I'll be playing this in a while, in a, in a few moments. This is MTV's remote control. Not, uh, it was hosted by Ken Ober, but this will be the game I'll be playing for my Saturday Superstar K number 14. And it will be in a few moments. I'm getting everything set up as we speak. Uh... Just let you know, I watched Power Rangers Dino Fury, interesting storylines. The Morphin Masters created the Dino Gems, the Inner Gems, and the Ninja Nexus Prism. And Mick, uh, played by Kelson Henderson, made an appearance. And and then, and then I figured it was on a mission. What mission was it? And the Ninja Nexus Prism dove, dove into the ocean. I went, ah, because that's where the Musa Razor Zord presides. That means the Ninja Nexus Prism is looking for the Sixth Ranger, will be Ion. The Gold Ranger from Dino Fury. Boom! Hello! Anybody want to know that by now? I knew it. I knew it. I said, once once, once it starts up back up in the fall again, I'll say this. I say and I predict that, that it was looking for Ion, the Gold Ranger of Dino Fury. I, I, I you know, you know, thinking, thinking, come on, thinking. Thinking, <laughs> and and what in the world at the end of that? I, I you know, Void Knight has a Mister Freeze moment. Void Knight has a Mister Freeze moment. Where he wanted to use the Sporex Beast to revive his beloved, but I don't think the Sporex um, would be would would uh, don't think he would revive his human. Beloved, but transformer and mutator, mutator into something, and or would it? Hmm. We gotta look into that. We gotta look into that more often. That is, it's like so. That's like the Void Knight does have a heart. Well, I don't know what in the storyline. What happened to his beloved? Was she one of the original Dino Fury Ranger sacrificed herself? Was the Void Knight a human warrior? As a Dino Fury, uh, original Dino Fury Ranger, was a friend of Zato's, and a lot of things, a lot of crazy things are happening. You know, so this is going to be more interesting storyline. So I can't wait to see what happens when new episodes come. Really, so I know it's usually on spring summer hiatus. That's where we're at right now. Um, so uh, I just can't wait for it. I just cannot wait for it. So um, all right then, it's time to play this. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Play some remote control, and uh, let's see if I can. Uh, let's see if I can. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, okay, hold up, hold up. Okay. Whoops. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, just a second here. All right, we're trying it again here. Saturday Superstar Cade, episode number fourteen. Okay. Oh no. All right. Select. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, all right, down you go forward. All right, here we go. We're going to play some remote control. A, B, C, and here we go. Let Uncle the World Patrol, let's see our contestants. All righty, there are some smiling faces, happy faces. Okay, let's check channel three. Here we go. More MTV. Who sang the perky two walking on sunshine? Oh, I know that one. Come on. Between the waves, the Bengals are the pretenders. There we go. A to buzz in. Uh, B to lock in your answer. Gotcha. Five points. I knew that one. Katrina and Waves will love that song. Let's stick with them more MTV, shall we? Let's see what we got here. Uh, Aerosmith has come back with Dude Looks Like a Lady. 
But name the band that first crossed the gender line many years earlier singing Lola. Uh, let's try the, the Kinks, I think it was. The Kinks. Get the Kinks out of there. Alright, 15 points. Let's, let's close out more MTV. And let's see what the question is. 20 years after Sonny and Cher had a hit with this song, UB40 and Chrissy Hine hit, it, hit again with it in 1985. Name the song, Rat in the Kitchen, the Cowboys work is never done. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. That's the only one I can think of with Honey and Cher. 30 points. Ah, here we go. We're firing all cylinders. So try Channel 6. Another prime time. She may be queen of Falcon Crest, but what actress was one divorce away from being the first lady? Oh, uh, shoot. Let's try Jane White. Nope, not Jane White. Don't know that one. Is it Jane Wyman? It was Jane Wyman, I'm telling you. Out of time. Out of time. Third year freshman, are we? Nah, I didn't know that one. Alright. The last guy should have answered it. Uh, let's stick with it, then. You know, another prime time. She's 26 in divorce. Named Denise Huxtable. Oh, the unusual roommate with a different world. I would be... Oh, Whitley. Oh, I thought it was Whitley. With the Jasmine guy. Where is she? That's why I want to... Jaleesa, Maggie. It's Jaleesa. Mike. Yeah, Mike should answer that one. Alright. It's Jaleesa. Okay. On the board. Yeah, I didn't know that one. Mike, you control... Channel 9. Whatever happened to... Old actors never die, they just find more demeaning roles to play. Let's see what they say here. Don Grady is now a songwriter and producer, but is better known as, as which character of my three sons? Mm, let me try this one, Chip. Nope, it ain't Chip. It's Robbie. Mike has one. Okay. Okay, I can't answer them all. I mean, listen, I'm in the still, I'm still a lead. If it ain't a total loss. You stick with Channel 9, whatever happened to. Let's see what we got here. He dropped into semi-obscurity to study the occult and sell felt tip pens and phantom merchandise, but he became famous as Batman's Boy Wonder. Name him Burt Ward. There you go, Burt Ward played Robin. Holy witchcraft, Batman. I'll stick with Channel 9. Whatever happened to? What child actor grew up and played in a rock band called Beaver and the Trappers? Years after starring in Leave It to Beaver. Uh, let's see, Jerry Mathers? Jerry Mathers, that'd be him. Hey, nice answer, nice answer. Thank you. I'll get it cut soon. It's summertime. All right, 55 points. Brenda's got zero. Okay, let's try shit Lucky 7 here. MTV. She went from Soul Train to Shalimar to singing Still a Thrill. Name is Silver Throated Angel. Jody Watley. Wow, I guess you really is not as dumb as you look. Watch it over. God rest yourself. Okay. Uh, let's stick, let's stick with Channel 7, shall we? Get 10 points out of this. Back in the, hi in the highlight isn't about swimming in Miller beer. Who sings it? Steve Winward. Um, let's see. Do you do nope, not Robert Palmer. I thought it would be him. Steve Winward. Ah, Steve Winward. Mr. High on Love. Did you know the best... The, uh, world control contestants are usually the weirdest looking? Yep. Yep. That's alright. Alright. Is he gonna stick with channel seven? He's gonna stick with channel seven, okay. How many arms does the drummer from Monthly Crew have? Dude? Come on, why why do you ask me a very dumb question? You have to have two hours to play drums. I should know this. Alright, let's go channel five. Mash. Okay. What was Father John McCahey's religious affiliation? 
I believe it was Protestant. Nope. Only a father Catholic. Brenda's on the board. Ah, I'm still in the lead though. Is she sticking with Mass? Nope, going to Channel 4. Video High! Ah, where do 40 year old actors go to school? Video High! Oh, who's having a seizure? Uh, welcome back, Cotter. What was the name of the sweat hog played by John Travolta, Boom Boom, Arnold, and Vinny? Vinny Barbarino! Uh, Vinny Barbarino! Uh, I'll stick a video high. I'll stick a video high. Some channel 4 10. Hanson, Haas, Ioki, and Penhall make up the 21 Jump Street team. Which one of them is female? Haas. Led by Holly Robinson. Who married uh, former quarterback Rodney Pete. The Holly Robinson Pete. Alright, let's close it out. Channel 4. Video high. Let's see what the student. On head of the class. Honor student Jalahalau. On east, of Florida, head full of head full of information. What country is it? Uh, I can't pronounce that name if I even tried to. Let me hire you as a writer. Yeah, you can. 105 points in the first round. All right, snack break time. Snack break time. Use your popcorn. That's your sodas. And a pizza. Dominoes! Let's go! Buffalo chicken sandwich from Wings from New Bedford! I'm hungry! <laughs> oh, the show. Alright. Now, two point values have been doubled now. And the channel to play. Okay, let's go channel one. Channel two. Gourmet channel. Doctors report that Americans are more health conscious. Well, we want to contribute to this trend. So let's take an educational trip to the Gourmet channel. What breakfast cereal does Toucan Sam Hawk on TV? Fruit Loops, come on, I, I wouldn't know that. I wouldn't know that. I wouldn't know that. All right, let's stick with the Gourmet Channel, Ken. Let's see what we got here. Who used good and plenty candy to make his train run? Choo Choo Charlie. Take a ticket, Tom. I don't Choo Choo Charlie. If I'm not mistaken, even though I never tried it. The other two names, okay, that's not. Let's close it out. Close out channel two. Let's go. Harlan Sanders is at the top of the pecking order at Kentucky Fried Chicken. By what military rank is he better known? Major Colonel, General. Colonel. Colonel Sanders! Colonel Sanders! Let's go! Colonel Sanders! You and my friend Dean super genius, thank you very much. 165, Mike's got 25, Brenda's got 5. Channel, I'm going to go channel 1. All in the family. Start with Edith, Archie, Edith, Gloria, and Mike. Who was the shortest? Who was the tallest? Archie, shortest, Mike, the tallest. Edith, shortest, Mike, the tallest. Shortest, Mike. Uh, um, I'm going to go with, uh, yeah, Gloria. Gloria, Mike, a.k.a. Meathead. Should I stick it all in the family? I think I should. That's what I'm gonna do. All in the family again. This blonde hunk once played Mike's friend who enjoyed painting pictures of women, but he's better known as half of Starsky and Hutch. Name him. I do. David Soul? David Soul got 195 points. I'm in the lead. And let's close out channel one with All in the Family. Jerome Cunningham would bend over backward for his pal Archie. What was Jerome's nickname? Stretch? Bender? It's Stretch. Stretch Cunningham. Stretch Cunningham. Wow. Are you related to Einstein or something? No, but thanks for the compliment, Ken. And we got 225 points. Opposite ends of the spectrum. Number nine. Mary Tyler Moore. Phyllis had a daughter who she wouldn't stop talking about. What was her name? Maggie Bessie. I think it was it Maggie? No, it's not Maggie. It's not Maggie. I can't get them all. And, uh, there you go. 
who is best. 15 points. Brenda's got an opportunity to take a go hit, hit up second place here. Okay, oh, she's sticking with Mary Tyler Moore. When Phyllis got her own series, what city did she move to? I believe San Francisco. I believe it was San Francisco. All right, 245 points. All right. Um, let's close out Mary Tyler Moore. Who was the first actor from the Mary Tyler Moore show? Ensemble to die. Valerie Harper, Ted Knight. I believe it was Ted Knight. I believe it was Ted Knight. 275 points. I got a humongous lead. Alright, let's try Lucky 7. Odd Couple. Felix and Oscar were contestants on two different game shows. One of the following, what was not one of them? Of the following, what was not one of them? I believe it was uh, To Tell the Truth. I think he also came to tell the truth, he tried to. 285 points. 1525. Alright, let's um, stick with the odd couple then, since I'm on a roll here. I'm going to try to get some points here. Name the flighty English sisters who lived upstairs with Oscar and Felix. The Pigeon Sisters, the Bird Sisters, um, the Andrews Sisters. Maybe the Andrews Sisters. Nope, not the Andrews Sisters. Let's see if uh, Mike or Brenda can get it. It's the Pigeon Sisters. Aha! Great answer. Do you think I might be able to hire you as a writer? Looks like Brenda's got second place. Yeah, by 10 points. Mike better do something. Let's see if she can go. If she, and she close out Odd Couple. Of the following, who was not married to either Felix or Oscar? Marina, Gloria, Gloria, Blanche? No, not Blanche. She's got to be married to one of them. Gloria, maybe? Oh, Myrna, she, now he got, now it's a seesaw battle, it's a seesaw battle, let's see what Mike, uh, will, channel 8 cop shows, dun, 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 these are the facts, the following are questions about cop shows, the names are, the heaven to chase the is, no plea bargaining in heaven, and find them, and hang them, or slogans worn on Brian Key's t-shirt, on, in what vigilante series? No, not the highway, man. Our castle in the Cormac, maybe? Our castle in the Cormac. Ah, same line. All right, here we go. Oh, oh by 10 points. Down by 10. Brenda's got an opportunity. She needs to stick with her channel, and she will. Cop shows. Kojak did his best in losing losing battle to clean up what city? Nope, not Chicago. I thought it was Chicago. Boston. That means it's going to be the rival cities. No, it's New York! Uh, Brenda, that would be costly to Brenda, though. That would be costly to Brenda. Mike's got to choose a category. Cop shows again. Opportunity. On Cagney and Lacey, Lacey's son Harvey Jr. joined what branch of the armed forces? The Army, the Navy. I want to give it a shot. The Marines. Oh, that was a lucky guess. That was a lucky guess. Wow, your brain must be swallowing the problem to pull off that answer. That may have cost Brenda. Alright, let's go channel 3. PhD TV. PhDTV. Those are advanced questions for those seeking a doctorate in television trivia. Oh, okay. On MASH, what was the punchline to the joke Hawkeye considered the funniest mean joke in the world? Is that all you do? Bird imitations? He's jiggling? It'll bite? Step outside while I change something? No, I would No, not keep jiggling, it'll bite. <laughs> No, it was. Uh, is that all you do? Bird invitations? Mike's pulling away for second place on this one. Mike's pulling away in second place. I'm still pulling away ahead of the pack here. 85 points. Let's see if that'll continue on. And. Uh oh! Bye, Brenda! See ya! Bye, Brenda! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! 
Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. There goes Brenda. Off the air. Uh. Well, Mike's gotta do a lot to catch it up unless uh, another one bites the dust, unfortunately. Let's see what we got here. It's time for our lightning round that strength real fast. I took the title's popular TV shows to replace one word, one word with a medical term. Okay. Alright, genie, murder, eight, food, Connor, house, DJ. Um. A dream of jock itch. Low hemorrhage on the prairie. Mucus she wrote. Murder. Wingworm and the bear. DJ and the bear. Eight, 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 eight. There you go. Welcome back, Cotter. Beauty and the uh, beast. And 405 to 95. Bye, Mike. Alrighty, man, that was fun. That was fun. I gotta admit, that was fun. Uh, this is episode 159 of WPML uh, TV Channel 77 episode, and also um, Saturday Superstar Cade number 14. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, and uh, I will see you on the next episode, 160. Peace, and have a wonderful day. Bless out.